Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome back to Elm Creek. This is episode number five at Farming Simulator 22. Today, we've got quite a bit of busy work and work that workers can pretty much handle by themselves. So I have a hard time figuring out what I'm going to do. I've purchased eight fields, which all have either corn, cotton, or sunflowers in them. And we're going to steal all the crops from the owners and then flip the land back as this series has basically become a field flipping series. Gotta love it. So if you like videos like this or just want to see more Farms of 22 stuff in general, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss daily Farms and videos here on the channel. All the way, let's jump right in. So let the work begin. Let's get into it. I'm really excited about this. And also, I think I'm going to have to get another one of these. I'm not sure one is going to do the job. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to use two of these. Because I got a lot of fields. I think I've got, yeah, four cotton fields to do. One of these, it's going to take forever. I don't want to wait on that. Do you want to wait on that? Me neither. I'm going to get that done as quickly as I can. Speaking of getting things done as quickly as we can, we do have a corn harvest as well and sunflower harvest. So I want to get that done as quick as I can. And that means I'm going to get something that goes quickly. <laughs> I also love, there we go. All right, so that's set to 16 miles an hour. Lower it, turn it on, hire worker, and rock, and roll. It's going to take a little bit of time, which means I'm going to get another one. Let's go back into cotton technology. Yeah. Boom, baby. Got it. So fields that we're doing these in, we've got 33 up here on the top. We've also got 47, which is a little one right here. Now, this is going to be important because I actually wanted to buy this field anyway. It happens to be cotton, so I'm going to take the cotton out of it. So 49 and 48. Our main farm is here, but as you know, uh, you can't really do a whole lot here as far as building goes. kind of difficult. However, this is basically flat. Foreshadowing. And then we're going to do 69. Nice. And then we're also going to finish it up with 58. So we have a lot of, uh, a lot of harvesting to go for this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this down to one of the bigger fields. Go ahead and get this started on those. That way we get it done. And then we are going to get ourselves into the sunflower field. And then it's kind of a like hurry up and wait kind of game. So that's, that's the game plan there. Another thing we're going to do once we get all of the cotton up is we're going to take it all to the spinnery. I'm going to buy the spinnery. It's only 60 grand, so that's not going to be bad. And then we're going to take it to the tailor shop and we make clothes from the spinnery. Take it to the tailor shop, sell those clothes. I hear clothes are like the bomb.com when it comes to making money. So we're going to take advantage of that as well. Try and make as much money as we can from some of these contracts and things like that. And by contracts, I mean build flipping because contracts are slightly broken still, at least on this map. So, yeah. For the sunflowers, we need either a sunflower header or a corn header. What I'm going to do is get a corn header because we can also use that for doing other things as well. Now, this is what it recommends. I I think this is a little small. <laughs> I think this works just fine. Uh, this is the 9 meter corn head. It's a little bit reachy. Also, you can't change the color on these, which is a little frustrating, but it is what it is. I got a couple modded versions right here of these. So I think what I'm going to do is go with this and see if it works. We're gonna buy it. There we go. Let's jump in here and let's see if it will even lift. Now this weighs more than twice as much as the other one. As you know, weight is extremely important in this game. Okay, so not awful. Let's go and unfold it. I'm gonna try and use it right here in this, uh, in this kind of parking lot just to see if we can make this work. Open it up. Drop it down, looking good. Turn it on. Drop the header down, go forward. Okay, so it's working just fine. Cool, hey, that's great news. Let's head over to our sunflower field. So sunflower field, I think it's like right beside, yeah, so it's right up here, right beside the canola field. Hey, speaking of canola field, oh, is that with 34 as well? No, oh, it's already harvested. Boo! With this field, I do want to hit a bit of a headland just down here at the bottom and at the top. Maybe one pass will be fine. It helps our worker out, gives them a little bit more room. Plus, we're going to set it like this. So you can see the field's a little interesting. So if I had it my way, I would start the combine up here, going back and forth this way. Fortunately, here it is angled too. So we might, I'm not saying we will, but we might have a problem with our worker 
wanting to actually do this the correct way. I, I guess we'll find out. Usually they don't like to go up when it comes to triangles. They're going to make these little triangle spots in the middle of the field. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. You've probably seen it a hundred times when using workers of any kind on any field. It gets a little bit annoying after a while. So we'll set these out and we'll just kind of see, is that the case? Is that what happens or is it a little bit easier on us? We'll see. We're hitting the end on the smallest cotton field that we've got on the map. But remember, I'm going to keep this because in the next episode, I'm actually going to build a little bit of like storage area barn kind of thing over here, which I think is going to be really, really cool. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And I'm just going to continue to rock on out of here. Our next field should be down there. I think you might be able to see it on the top. Eh, the trees are in the way. I do love these trees, though. They're orange, and they're beautiful, and they've got some green in there still. These right here, they're green, but they got a little bit of orange in them. They're just beautiful. I absolutely love the trees, and I love how everything is looking at Farm Sim 22 right now. Uh, the graphics, you guys may remember, between 17 and 19, the graphics were the number one thing that I was most excited about. And, of course, you know, not a popular... <laughs> Not a popular excitement between 17 and 19. Uh, but you know what? Between uh, 19 and 22, I was actually looking forward to the production change the most. And I have been pleasantly surprised by the graphics. I mean, well, the machines themselves, the detail is absolutely incredible. These things way higher than 19 was, at least from my personal visual standpoint. Um, you may have a different opinion of that. And hey, that's totally okay. That's perfectly fine. Feel free to share those in the comment section as well. I'm just going to keep going. Uh, There's going to be a lot of in-between work. I know you guys don't want to just sit in the combine with me and just wait. So I'm just going to hire a worker on this and let him do his thing. And then hopefully, uh, hopefully he can get it done soon. Oh, this is going to take a while. I'm going to go ahead and get some preparations done so that we can make sure we're ready for the cotton. So here we are going to grab a uh, auto load cotton barrel trailer thing right here i've got it in black and with the uh the fent red wheels i think that looks awesome also real quick look what is in the used category a t8 genesis uh, so i i i don't need another large tractor but i would love to have one it would really open up some some interesting uh avenues down the road and I really think like some BKTs on here would look pretty sweet. That being said, I also kind of want a crawler track. So I don't really know what I want. But I, I know I think I think I know I want one of these. I think the engine might be a little bit. Well, I don't know. That's a 435 35 horsepower for 176 grand. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. And the crawler track's super expensive, too. You can just go over here to the BKT regulars. Yeah, oh, those are sweet. You could do this. 158,000 bucks for this. You know what? I'm going to take out a loan and get that. Get, get, you can watch if you want. Here, I need I don't know how much it said. I'm just going to take out it up to get like 200 grand here. Uh, boom. BKTs, wide tires, big engine in there. Purchase. We got a T8 now. Damn it. Oh, I'm excited. Now, here is the only bad part about buying used machinery. As soon as you buy it, you need to bring it over here because it's going to need some work. So let's take this. You can see the condition is actually not bad at all. The paint's terrible, but I could care less about that. We do need to repair it, though, which is only going to cost five grand. So now we have a perfect condition minus the paint, which uh, one thing I've noticed as well there's no paint missing when you buy these used. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but I do know I don't care. Because we've got a T8 now. I can do anything. This thing's got massive. A mahoosive, I think, is the, the correct terminology here. Mahoosive horsepower. Unfortunately, I don't need it right now. So I'm just going to put it like right here. Because I don't need that anymore. <laughs> but I do want this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And I hear there's a cotton bell already waiting on us. All right, so here it is. Maybe it's not waiting on us. It's not waiting on us. That's the thing. Let's see if I can jump in this before it starts doing its thing. Fired. All right, can I have this? Nice. All right. That is mine. 
Let's go and hire a worker to do the thing there. We got a cotton bill. Do we have more than one? No, that one hasn't even made a cotton bill yet. Yikes. Well, I got a lot of equipment going on here. All right, let's get this. I love this machine too. It's so cool. Pops it down. Boop, boop, boop. Brings it up. I think we, all we need to do is just roll right into it. Yep. There we go. How cool is that? That's pretty sweet. I got a hand to do it. That's pretty sweet. So this will hold, at least from what I've been able to see, it'll hold three of these uh, round cotton belts. So that is good. Wait, maybe four would be nice, but I don't think it does four. I think three is about all we're going to get off of this. All right. So I think now all we could do is kind of just hang around, sit and wait. Um, let's see. Worker idiot. Really? You stopped doing your work? You could have had this finished by now. Who knows how long that's been. Hire the worker. Oh boy. The first contract is almost done. And by contract, I mean I'm stealing everything in the field and I purchased it and I'm gonna field flip it. We got the last bit going. Yo, check out first person. A little shaky every once in a while, but that's not bad for first person. I actually feel like I could do work in first person and not have, you know, that many problems still gonna have problems because it's me but you know it is what it is also we've got another cotton bale that's been dropped at the other farm so that is cool let's go ahead and while we're at it sell this plot of land we don't need this anymore so now we've sold that we can kind of keep moving around to our different stuff so i think this is the other one that i need to buy so let's go and buy that kaboom kaboom now we've got 59,000 liters of sunflowers. These sunflowers need to be taken over to the oil mill because I want to make uh, canola, or, uh, sunflower oil out of these. Hey, pretty cool. Make a little extra cash money on top of that. Yeah, by the way, our bakery and the oil mill are both doing very well right now. Let's go over to the oil mill and check that out. And don't be judging me for using my combine as a delivery device. <laughs> it's not all I got right now, but it works super, super good. All right, there we go. Sunflowers are going in. We can come over here and take a look. I mean, we can see it down at the bottom right, but I always like coming in here. Sunflower oil is happening. So our canola oil we are storing. We only got uh, 607 liters of that, but as you can see up here, we've got 76,000 liters. This is just going to keep producing it over and over and over again, which is nice. Cool. So we are completely unloaded with that. That is good. See if I can get out of here well this time. Hey, not bad at all. So who's next? What field are we heading to next? Let's take a look. I know we got some cornfields around here somewhere, and I think, yep, 54 is going to be the one. So let's head right here. One thing I will say, Giants definitely took some cues for this corn uh, from quite a few monitors that have put stuff out there for corn. I mean, obviously it looks like corn, which is great to see. There we go. Drop it down. It drops all the way down to the ground. Looking good. And now corn is going in. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to have to run a couple head lens down here at the bottom. Just to, or rows at the end, just to help the worker out a little bit. The train's down here. And the train the workers don't like each other very much. Because the train sees a worker and it's like, ooh, <laughs> donut or whatever. I don't know. It hits it's what happens. So I'm trying to keep workers away from... Really? Uh, I really got to take this cutter control fix thing mod out. I'm not enjoying it at all. I'm going to take bill number two. And we're going to get bill number three. And we're going to bring it all up here to the spinnery. Except I'm not going to sell it yet. Yep, just going to park this here. Actually, I'm going to get an... Ooh, some of the stuff's going now. Oh yeah, I bought something. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let's go up here to Cotton Technology. Let's get another one, except this one is going to be designed after our New Holland. So let's find our New Holland blue. There we go. Rim color, standard. Love that. Base game gray. Giants, you are the man. Except we're going to go with the white because that's, well, New Holland colors. We're going to lease one for 4500 bucks, And it should match. I think it's going to match. And then we're going to use our New Holland to go get some Bell stuff. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Plus, it allows us to do a nice double dump at the end. Uh, but we're going to have to save it before him. I'm going to try and get a nice double dump. But I don't know if... Ooh, somebody finished their work. 
Oh, it was him. Oh, he's about to finish too. Did you drop a bell anywhere? Nope. Oh, I already picked your bell up. Anyway, we're gonna get all this done. Oh, I gotta get this to the other end of the... <laughs> Here we come driving. All of the workers are now working on different fields except for this one. This seems to be a little bit more of a chore than I was expecting. We've got our combine down there. Combine. We've got the cotton harvester rocking on the other cotton field. Boop. We got this. I'm starting to think we're going to get more than six. So I might have to get a third trailer and do like a triple dump, I guess. That would be the word for it. But for now, it's just kind of like hang out and wait kind of thing. Uh, at this point, there's really not much for me left to do. So over here on 29, I've got a worker that's hitting all of this. So I don't trust him though. Yeah, here he is. So this guy's working, doing good. I was able to do this at an interesting angle. You can see this is not a 45 uh, or a 90 degree angle. This is like halfway in between 45 and 90, whatever that number would be. Uh, 22 and a half. Hey, that is 22 and a half. Just I went the other way with it. Uh, I'm going to take over here because I've got nothing to do other than sit and wait. And this is also our last cornfield, which means, oh yeah, we're going to be able to go buy the cereal factory. Let's go. One thing I did kind of forget about is, so I've got corn here, right? In order to make cereal, I've got to do other stuff as well. For example, you can't just take corn and make cereal. You've actually, can I get in here with a header? Okay. Okay. Sweet. Where's the sill point? Uh, and is there a cell point around here? <laughs> Hello, cell point. Um, anyway, so I forgot that I needed to do a couple other things. For example, yeah, is, well, Otis, but so I've got to put in oats and corn and dried, uh, dried gra raisins and, and something else, honey in order to make cereal. I can't just put this in and be done with it. So I gotta figure all that out, but I can put corn in here. So at least there's that. The unfortunate part, do I just dump it in the ground right here? The answer is I just dump it in the ground. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna get all of this sold and then we're gonna take the money that we made from this and then hopefully it's all gonna be in here. I think so we made 52 grand. Let's go and buy this. And you can see uh, we've got oats or corns in here, but we need oats, we need raisins, and we need honey. We're going to have to wait a little while because oats are out of season now. I don't think you can harvest oats anymore. Uh, let's take a look. Oats right here. No, you can't harvest oats. So that corn's going to sit there for like a year. We got to plant oats. Oi. We've also, <laughs> we also need to get grapes and all kinds of stuff. So... Yeah, that's going to be fun. But we will make cereal, and from there, we could sell it. So, honey, raisins, oats, and corn. I made a mistake. Yikes. The next logical step is going to be bees, I guess, because we need honey. And one of the great things about bees is if you put them in, um, like, near uh, any of some normal crops, so like canola, potatoes, and sunflowers, if you put them near those crops... You'll actually get a higher yield off of those crops because of the uh, the bees. So, what I'm thinking is we put them somewhere around here on the main farm. Let's go and drop that. There we go. We can put this away. We don't need our combine harvester anymore. I'm thinking we put some beehives around here somewhere. Maybe, uh, maybe over there near the woods, something like that. That way they're are on the farm, but away. Does that make sense? We also have to put a cell point down as well, everybody. Yeah. You'll see. Let's, uh, let's make it happen. I think this area right here would be perfect. So we're going to go in. We are going to go into others. We're going to go to construction. And then, of course, animals. And then we have bees. Uh, I think we'll go right here. So this is 33. We've got 10. Uh, we've also got a elongated version. We've got four hives. And then we've got a single hive. Now, that's well, 1100 bucks for that. For one or 1900 for 33. Yeah. This is the one to put down. And I'm probably going to put a couple of these uh, just to, you know, so we have them. So let's put this here. Let's turn it just slightly. Right there looks good. Uh, I, I'm aware that there's no pallet location. I I did that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, what, are you, what are you guys thinking? Feeling three? 
And one more? Well, it's a little, little angled down right there. Three is probably going to be good for now. Plus, we need a place for the pallets to drop. So, I think those can go well, right over here. Maybe, oh, let's put this flat ground real quick because I can't see this thing. So, let's take this, kind of turn it at an angle a little bit. Would nice to, would be nice to see this kind of flattened out a little bit because I still don't know exactly how it's going to place out. But I guess that's the location. And we may as well paint it just a little bit just so it looks nice. So let's go into, uh, let's see, landscaping, painting. See, that's asphalt, gravel. This will be fine. Let's go into a circle and then we'll just kind of paint in a little bit extra around it just so we can see the location to make it stand out a little bit. All we need is one, and I think that's it. Quite literally, that's it. We're gonna have bees now, yeah! And we're gonna have cotton, but unfortunately, we're gonna have to do this in a separate video. We're gonna finish that all up because we are all out of time for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Enjoy the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you got any ideas that you wanna see for a future video, let me know. I'm also gonna be doing a farm build video here soon, uh, hopefully in the next few days. So check that out or just check out the playlist section you'll find everything linked there i'll be done hope you have a great day we'll see you later